So one thing most people know about FC24 is there's two Parises in FC and PSG. PSG are the best team in France, let's be honest, as Paris FC sit a league below them. As today, we're going to be taking over Paris, who are in that step two, League 2. Uber Eats, I believe? What a sponsor as today we take them over and we make them better than PSG. And do you guys want kits like this one, this one, or even this one? If you do, make sure to check out Soccer Deal Shop. Link in the description. Cheap and affordable replica kits. And if you use MWS in the promo code checkout, you get yourselves 10% off. As some rules today, of course, we've got to win the Champions League. We're not just aiming for French domination, but in order to add a French connection, we've got to sign only ex Paris Saint Germain players. As that was a goddamn mouthful to get out, but yep, only ex players. We can't sign the current ones. Meaning we've got to keep our eyes on these players right here. As soon as they get a move, we're going to try and pounce on them. But of course, money is going to be a little bit of an issue. We've got 9 million, which is more than I expected to turn this team around as the Captain Manduki. We're keeping him involved. We've got some good ratings. Already shuffled it around as this is the lineup. Our best player is the Algerian Ilan Kebal. Then Vincent Marchetti, who I thought was older than 25. Remy Rio, on the other hand, is 35. So yeah, a bit of an aging squad at the moment. And we've got to figure out some ex-Paris players. Or Saint-Germain players. I'm going to say Paris a lot. Forgetting we are Paris. As let's get to scouting. As I've got to say, a lot of research I've tried to put in for this one. As gain automatic promotion is the aim. And £9 million. Well, we need good players. It could only be spent on one or two of them as first player. For a lot of these, I've got to admit, they may be old or academy players or ex-academy players as this is a combination. Mori Diaw used to be in PSG's academy. So he does count as one as the next one does. And if you are questioning these, I got them off transfer mark. So if I say something that's off or pick a player that's off, they are to blame as we've got Doombia the left back as that's our weakest position covered and also goalkeeper a 35 year old replaced by a 31 not the greatest swap but honestly this team it's got to go for promotion and can it do just that we have no money left literally under 1 million as our first game is this one right here don't ask me to pronounce that you know i will butcher it as can we butcher them with a good performance yes we do and a little bit of a shock is, one, they went in front, and two, they got Pele. But he got a yellow card and did not play well as Paris FC. That's a good start to me. As halfway through, I'm checking the team more than the table, because we've got low ratings, which we need to get higher. We could be first in the league, but with a team like this, and a player like Dabilla with only 50 pace, we're not getting nowhere. But on the bench, we've got Corey, who can train as a right back, currently a centre back and only 19 years old, so... Got to get his boots on and got to get training. Oh, and it goes without saying, we did have a right back. They got recalled like a lot of our loanies. As we've got Monaco in round 32 of the next tournament. As we are top of League 2, this is looking easy. As end of the year, well, we've got our ratings up. And would that survive if we stay at the top? As Coupe Nationale first and oh my days. We made the final of the competition. Only beaten by Lyon as we beat Lens from the top division, Lille from the top division, and Laval in ours. That is some run. And we won the league. Oh my days. Almost the best season imaginable. We've got a trophy in the bag. Six points clear of St. Etienne. But we could have done domestic double and that kind of tells me we are good enough to go up as Kebal is now a good cam as Hamill hasn't played much but his ratings higher than Dicko and Corey the right back new right back he's improved a lot as the ratings have as well we've got Mbo the center back Manduki the captain still going up as Kebal was top scorer and Gori the winger 
second on that list. And top flight football, just what the doctor ordered. But look at this, right? There's a lot of contracts expiring. But believe it or not, each one of these players, including club captain Manduki, are all retiring. We're gonna lose a lot of players as 27 million euros isn't even a lot to try and survive in the top division as that is the team. We need a striker, center back, and a good right hand side. As I'm looking at PSG, trying to spot if they've got rid of any players because I've been scouting a lot of them. It turns out they've only got stronger actually. Tom Bischoff into the club, Levi Colwyn, I just, I just don't get it. As we've got to try and think, was there any players that had left there? I can't really remember because we're going for old ones or young players that are old in terms of PSG because he was in their academy, Mohamed Al Cho or Ali Cho. As we're going to go and fetch him, this man should be good. 75 rated as it'll actually be the two signings because the second one's expensive because we've gone for a bit on the youth side of things in a confusing position because we've got to trust that defense as the new player in is Timothy Weyer, who I thought was a lot younger as he's going on the right-hand side. Good stats, good rating, but he's on 50 grand a week. And that's quite excessive. We've really overpaid us. We've got 3 million left. Can we find someone? And no, we can't. We can't find anyone to sign. So St. Etienne first, the runners up from last year. We need to win this game if we're going to pose any threat. I mean, Gory on the wing hasn't played much pre-season. Koloji Ariako, however you say that name, in our defense, looks like he's a bit dodgy. And it can't be a good season. Not after that first result, anyway, as I'm kicking our defenders straight out. The Wi-Fi password man, as he's already injured, so he can be replaced by Dabilla, who has less pace than him. Oh my days. I would prefer Corey in the middle, but he's already trained as a right back and he's doing quite well. As some players stand out, the likes of Diao and of course our new signings, Cho and Weya, 78, Cabal, 80. Don't know how I missed that one in the team as we just want to stay up to build next season. As if we go down, we'll get less money. And of course, we've got a lot of players retiring as we are staying up halfway through anyway. And of course, we're still in the cup. If you didn't see that one, could we win it this year? And just tell me that we've had improvement in the team. We have, you know, that's why I don't want to go down. If we do, we'd sell Cho and Cabal most definitely to replace players like Manduki and Dabilla. Gotta check the scorers as they are the ratings. Three over 80 as Cho scored nine. Big improvement for nine goals as we stayed up in 14th position. Six of Strasbourg. Surprise we sent them down and surprise we're above St. Etienne after they hammered us in the early game. We lost to Paris. Or did we actually lose to Paris? No, we must have lost to Ajaco because I don't think, or sorry, I do think we played them. That is unfortunate. However, this year, the final month was good to us. We beat PSG. Absolutely amazing as I'm skipping through the earlier months. We played them early on as the first game was 4-0. As we're above them in the table, start of season number three on alphabetical order, F before S. That's a very nice thing to see as we've just got to carry on though. We've got to please have a decent budget. Come on, be worth it. 39 million, right? That is okay. Money to burn. But of course, we've got to go ahead and... Sorry, youth staff scouts, but we've got to use the actual scouts to find ex-players. As the first player we've got, I'm actually looking at two. This man, I'm actually very happy we've stole. Left recently, Yakin Adley of maybe like less than three years he went to Milan. So I'm happy to have that one, of course, replacing club captain. And he's got an 80 rating. That is phenomenal. Get off the bench though, mate. You're going in the starting 11. Hopefully his rating 
goes up like the front two. Has only a centre-back to go now, and we've been smart about it. He's not a centre-back, but a centre-mid. Bubakari Sumari. I know I've probably butchered that, but I like how it rhymes. And he's only cost 10 million. Not will be in at Leicester, and he's going to go in the team. I just need to train him as a centre-back, and I think he should do it. His stats look good enough. He's physical, 73 defending, more so the pace. He has to actually get training. So, yep, got him training. Done that drill. So we've got contracts running out. How much money have we got? Three million again. I mean, it just goes like that. Wages in France are a lot heftier than I expected. Paying out a lot for players that, well... I've only got a few over 80 rated, so they're not all that great. As you could see right there, it's going to be Lille, our first game. We've beat them in the cup before, but they beat us this time. As let's just see if we've done any better. A narrow defeat. Come on, that wasn't that bad. What would be bad if in League 1 we had decreased somewhat? We are still above relegation but kind of in the fight. I mean, it's 10 points clear, but I don't feel comfortable. We, we bang on mid-table. We're 10 points from conference. And I wouldn't mind that, you know, as is our team worthy. We've got a red card to Cho, who is 83 rated. Come on, it's good enough. That is a good enough team. Sumari's changed to centre-back. It's took his rating up and Adley, who we've just signed. I just absolutely believe that is a perfect signing if we're going to keep progressing. As I know Samari's probably not, he won't be here long term. I don't think anyway, as he helps finish 11. That is not that bad. We just stay in the position we were kind of in, not really getting involved in relegation. I love it. As it's good, continuously improving, but we were out and Laurent... Oh, Laurent won the cup? That is a weird one, but as I was saying anyway, we need to get a move on because PSGX players are running out. It's not going to be long until Mbappe retires if we're moving at a snail trail pace, that is. As he'll have to leave Paris if we've got any chance of signing him. Oh, and this team definitely would need a takeover. We ain't that rich as I'm hoping for more money still. What did we get last season? 39 million. I mean, we've still got Ali Cho as well, who we could sell if we need money. Desperately, that is, as it wasn't him top scorer. Ali Mami Gori with 11 goals, as we're struggling to score goals despite having a good front three. Or front four, because of course we can't forget about Ilan Kibal, who's been here from the start. He's 83 rated. As again, we're back to being above the rivals, but we're going to have to kick on if we get a big budget, which I think we should do. Hey, 61 million. That's more like it. That's continental pricing. Or pricing budget. Don't know what I'm talking about, as this is the squad. We can see the positions that we need to strengthen. Marchetti, the captain, could be out. Same with Mbao but probably Doombia, as Doombia's a lot older, and I'm surprised he's got to the rating he has done, you know. 78 rated. As another player I'm very pleasantly surprised about is Maury Diaw. I mean, he is a goalkeeper, and their ratings go up. He's just doing an Edouard Mendy as chose our best player. I've chose not to sell him. As come on, we've got enough money to just go out there and spend. Go crazy. Go stupid. Go get the best players. As these wages, man. We've actually signed three players, but the wages on these lads is absolutely astronomical. It's literally millions out of his bank, although we've got 61 as Jonathan Ikone we're going to play on the left. Sorry, Gory, I know you're good, but we just can't afford to keep having you in the team because we could afford this guy. Chair Undor, relatively cheap from Sociedad, but his wage is like 100k a week for a 76. What if you think that one was a bad one? This man's from City, so you know his wage is just up there. But welcome to the club, Furlan Mendy, who was in PSG's academy, I'm pretty sure. 100k a week, he better be worth it. He's at an old age, but he's partnered with Okone. Good left-hand side to match our good right-hand side with a younger midfielder. 
I'm feeling more confident. Need to act more confident as well as our first game right there. It is Marseille and I don't know what to expect. This is another good tester like Lille was last year for where we are at as we still get beat. As I don't know what season this is, but we've been in this top flight a while right now without getting any good football. And by that I mean continental, as this season, maybe there's a difference because we're in sixth position. Joint with third actually, so this could really differ. We could finish sixth with nothing, fifth with conference, fourth with Europa or third with Champs League. I believe that's how it goes as yep, we always get through the first round of the cup or I think that's automatic now. Now we're in the top division. As the ratings of the lads, I mean, Undor hasn't been playing. I've got to make sure he does in the second half of the year. As 286 is now in Cho and Adley. It's been lower growth this time round. Didn't expect that. And come on, let's have grabbed Champs League as oh my, the improvement second half have been better than the first half. And we jumped to fifth in the first half as Ikone, I have, sorry, I've just trained him to left mid, hence why he's not been playing. And hey, at least it's got us now an 80 rated on the bench as Ikone's rating does go up. I think if I put him in the team and Simon normally, the game here on PC makes sure his rating goes up, his potential and his dynamicness just rises. I can't lie, I'm kind of waffling. I just think he has improved as we've got to 87s. That is very nice stuff. As yes, they're ex-Paris, but I'm glad they're actually French players because there's quite a few players here that aren't French as top scorers are these two. Gory is scoring and that is glorious as we're third in the league Joint with second. Shane Paris actually won it as I believe, I believe that's Champions League football, but I still could be wrong. I hope I'm not though, because that would be an incredible achievement. As speaking of one of those, Lorraine have won back-to-back -back Coupe Nationales. Wow, that is good from the League on Morecambe as we were beaten by Marseille. And that is all that's happened. As this next season, I don't know what number it is. I don't think we should win the Champions League as this is how it's going. We've got Istanbul Başakşehir here in the qualifying round and I hope there's only one. But we're going to have to qualify to get there. Interesting logistics. I don't mind an extra few games as you can see the team right there. Probably not good enough to win it, but it's good enough all round as 95 million is good. Very, very good. And that could get us a good player. As the signing that I'm going to make, I planned it out already. He came from the Youth Academy. That's how he's signing most of his players. But Mike Miagen, I thought Diaw was brilliant and he is brilliant, but... We need a just better. I thought going into this save after doing a little research, I would end up with Ariola, but I've ended up with this guy who's on a high wage. So yes, we might not be able to sign anyone else, but six foot three, 32, 90 rated. Definitely our number one. And we're going to sell Diaw. Actually, I want to see how much money we've got still left this season. Because if we sold Diaw, we'd have ooh, 20 million. So that could actually be a bit of money still to spend. Let's do this, let's do this, as we're getting an offer in, but it's only a very small offer from Real Madrid. Is it worth selling him for nine million or 11 at the most? Maybe not. Maybe we have two quality keepers. Screw it, we've got qualifying rounds, of course, in the Champions League, plus the league, and plus the cup. So we're going to keep hold of him as we're going to sim the first game against Istanbul. We do win it and it takes us to Bordeaux. Or Bordeaux to us actually because we are this home team and please get... Oh, it's only a draw. And after a disappointing start to the season, that draw, I'm actually hoping that we manage to beat Istanbul. Because if we didn't with the team that we have built right here, not only is it a disappointment... We can't win the Champions League. Or even be in it, for that matter, of course. We're going to check the league first. And we're hanging on to fourth. And if we had to qualify in third last time out, that just tells me that fourth position is probably Europa League. Then again, there wasn't many points in anything right there. 
as we must have beaten Istanbul as we were in the group stages to get Benfica in the round of 16 as our group went very well. Just need to build on that, as there are the players. Mike Miagans even gone up, and we've almost got three 90s. Cho actually running out of contract right there, so we'll offer him a four-year deal. Now we go into Benfica. Can we win the Champions League? We haven't even finished above PSG, and we've got a draw. So the possibility is still there to pull off what would be an extraordinary season as Timmy Weyer. We're going to the quarters. Get in there, lads, or get out, Champions League. Honestly, why are you giving us Man City? Going from having a rival full of oil money to playing an oil money team right here. The English oil money one, which we beat. Furlan Mendy with a brace, and it is his ex-team. We bought him from Man City, and we've beaten them as well. Four three on aggregate. I actually don't believe this. You can see we got dominated, but we're going through anyway. But to get to the final, we have to beat Liverpool. Okay, mm, not the game I wanted. This could be the end, as I'm hoping it isn't. Please don't be. We're beaten 3-1. This is going to be it, isn't it? Our second leg's going to just be a 1-1 draw. We've beaten 4-2. We couldn't go all the way. As I was going to say as well, I didn't even think we were strong enough to get to where we did get to. As look how close the league was. Beaten by two points by the rivals, but the Coupe Nationale, we... We've lost in the quarterfinals, and PSG weren't even there. As well, we almost did it. Winning the Champions League, or almost winning the Champions League, but I'm prepared. As off-season, I've scouted a lot of good players, so I know how to improve the squad, and that's what I want to do. We actually lack players as well here at Paris FC. 18 in the squad, that is unbelievably low. But to pip the rivals Paris to the post, we're just going to have to buy good players with 114 million. And I know which players or players, should I say, but a lot of it's going to go on contracts. All of our best players are leaving. As one thing about Paris Saint-Germain that we've got to compete with is their attack. So I'm going to make this change. Ikone to the bench with Dumbia and Diaw. Some strong players right there. And freeing up the cam slot. As the only player I want to sign is Christopher Unkunku. Because I believe if we reach a final... He's a very good in-game player. As he was in the PSG Academy, according to the wiki that I'm looking at. As he's arrived at Paris FC. Look at all these traitors. He's come across from Chelsea for under what we have. So we've still got some spending money. But whilst I'm in the Champions League, I do like to save money for halfway through the season. Because we might get a lot of injuries. Highly a possibility. As just straight into the season, no qualifying games, which is absolutely bliss. And I actually believe we can have a very strong season this year with that one addition as the first game is a draw of course it is and oops the silly goofball that i am forgot to check the champions league group which i hope we're out of last season our only aim was actually to reach the group stages as we are out of them for the second season running valencia we play next as our group consisted of kiev salzburg barca not the hardest but also not the easiest it wasn't a man city s group as we're third in the league and that'll kind of suit me as is there any need to sign any other players there actually isn't for once no injuries no nothing and i've just appeared to realize sumare's 88 rated i said he wouldn't be here for the long haul now he's one of our best players. In fact, our best defender is straight into this one. A 1-1 one, one draw. Seriously, guys. From beating Manchester City to struggling against Valencia. No offence, Valencia fans, as we do get the win. Asumare scoring. It's just a brilliant redemption arc, as it's Milan next. A very feisty fixture. I mean, it's no Manchester City and we end in a boring game, I've got to say. 
has Cho missed a penalty? Very boring game. Literally zero shots at all. As I thought we'd got beaten then, but we were away from home. As it's back-to-back -back semis for Paris FC, but it's Porto up next. I hate playing these. Come on, we've got good players and we should be beating them. Is the curse gonna break? Can we beat Porto in a knockout game? This would be an incredible achievement and we've got a big squad as we win 4-2. Or not a big squad, but big players who have won the league, making PSG finish fourth. Enjoy the stinky Europa League as Monaco win the Coupe Nationale and our Champions League final will be PSG. So maybe they don't finish in the Europa League, because if they beat us here, they get in next year. But honestly, lads, let's just wrap it up here. What a final to get. Interesting. All ex-players. Or oh, not all of them, actually, because we've got a few that have come on the journey from actually being... Paris FC ultra players. Ultra players, what am I talking about? Actual players, as we've got Mbappe against us. Never going to be easy. Everything on the line. We've got brilliant players in our squad, but it's a derby game, and they are chasing Champions League football next year. As they'll probably be thinking ahead. They won't even be thinking about the final this year. They'll want the trophy again next year, as Adley with the shot. Just had to go for the shot, as I am saying it's an actual derby game, and that is some derby tackling. Very nice from our player, as it's Undor the midfielder, one of the ex-PSG players who's trying to chip it in and win a corner kick. Very good work. Absolutely giving it all for his new Paris badge, as that was a good cross. And can we keep this alive here? Adley into Nkunku. Need to get it around the corner. Timothy Weyer back. It's into Corral! And that was off the glove and off the crossbar. Look, Donnarumma's net, as that's a good corner, and it's in the back of the net. And don't tell me that Sumare. Is it Sumare? No! It's our striker, Ali Cho. Get in there. What a cross it was into the box. And he just held up perfectly to fall on his head. Donnarumma, no chance this time. He picked it onto the crossbar to result in that corner. And 1-0 FC. Brilliant. Well, I'd say start with 35 minutes in. Apart from that goal and a few long shots, not much going on. As I'm just looking for the end of the half now. But they have a corner. The first attack they've really had. A bad clearance as they've still got the ball. Dagba, he strikes the crossbar and Mbappe is... I thought offside. But it's the halftime whistle. Tell me he was offside. You can watch that back on the replay, but... If he wasn't, that is brilliant officiating. For us especially, as we need to get it down this left-hand side. Get a second goal now, whilst they're still crumbling. Cross had to be a bit better though, but still we'll carry on. Unkunku uses Cho, who goes out wide. And if we are onside here, Cabral with the ball back in. And oh, my days. I think there's a penalty given. How lucky have we been in this game right here, but I think that was going to Donnarumma's gloves anyway. So I am going to do the right thing. I'm going to try and miss this on purpose, absolutely blasting it out. Fair play to the rivals. I'm not winning dirty. I'm winning legit. And so far, we've got a legit goal, as we could do with this next one. Timothy Weyer, why did he stop? Why did our fullback stop right there? Is that he's a brilliant run from Cho, and he's offside. No! Because we need to head this away, please. Please. Dembele! Oh, my days, he's missed it. The man who absolutely punished Barcelona in real life. He's just woken up here, but Bow with a brilliant tackle. Get it away from him. Jeez, because he is absolutely causing us all the problems right here. As there's a run on through the middle. And it's Unkunku who has been very uninvolved in this game. Playing a 1-2 and losing the ball straight away afterwards. Lads, come on. There is not long left at all. And it's going to be Paris coming at us again. Vera with the ball into Renato Sanchez and it has been stole off him by Undor and that's a brilliant spin by Cabal. Algerian maybe forging maybe one more chance. Just keep this ball. Oh, and 
Kevin Unkunku. So very close. So we're going to risk crossing the ball in for a second goal right here. Oh, and it's saved as well. But if we win this header with Adley, which we do, referee, blow that whistle. And he has done. World champions, Paris FC have beaten PSG in the battle of the rivals. And we even missed a clear penalty to mark our name in the history books and rub it in their faces by using their ex-players. And it's going to be perfectly written because Umbau is going to lift the trophy who's been here all the time. As if you want to see another challenge like this one or slightly different. Leave them in the comments down below.